Hi learners. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part two of the same topic. That is the cubes and cube roots. So here are the following numbers perfect cubes. If not, find the smallest number by which each should be multiplied to get a perfect cube. So this is the number given, 392. So here we, we have to see whether it's a perfect cube. So what we are going to do here, we are going to solve this with the help of this one. Prime factorization, we'll find the factors first. So after finding out the factors, what we can see here, because this is a cube, so now we have to take three numbers. So we have to so this is 2 cube and this is 7 square. So here there is 1 less. So what we can say here, when 7 is less, so we can make, to make it a perfect cube, we need to multiply it by 7. So if 1 more 7 is there, this also will be 7 cube. So you have to multiply by 7. Now again here, you have to see the factors of it. So these are the factors. So here what we can see here, this is 2 cube. Again, this is 3 cube and this is alone. So what we can say now, so this needs again two threes. So we can say to make it a perfect cube, we need to multiply it by, that is 3 square, means 3 into 3, that is going to be 9. Here, these are the factors. So we'll make it 2, 3, 3 and this is 5 is alone here. So here it needs two more five. So what we can say to make it a perfect square, we need it to multiply it by five square, that is 25. Here, this is two cube. This is just alone here. Again, this is three cube and this is alone. So here you need two more twos and here, Two threes, so that is going to be two square into three square, so that will be four into nine, that is thirty six. So are the following numbers perfect cubes? If not, find the smallest number by which each should be divided so that the quotient will be a perfect cube. So five hundred. So here, this five hundred will be. This will be five cube. So this is two square. So make it a perfect cube. We need to divide it by. That is 2 square, that is 4. So now this is 648. 2 cube, this is 3 cube, and this is 3. So here it should be divided by, this is extra, so it should be divided by 3. Now here, these are the factors. So now this is extra. So it should be divided by 5. This 5 is extra. Now here, whenever they say, if you have to multiply, it means you have to put that many numbers, uh, you have to multiply it. And here, whenever divide means you have to Divide by that particular number. Now see here, this here, one five is here. This is this will be five square. This is not a cube, so we this is extra. So we have to divide it by five square. That is twenty five. Here this already cube. Now here observe the pattern given below. Now see here the pattern is one plus. Uh, this is that two cube minus one cube. So what? What is that? 1 plus this is 2 into this is, will be into multiplied by 1 into this 3. Again here because this is 3 cube minus 2 cube. So it will be 1 plus 3 into 2 and this again you have to multiply by 3. Now here 4 cube minus 3 cube. So 1 plus 4 into 3 into 3. So now you have to find the value of 6 cube minus 5 cube. So what will be that? one? plus that will be 6 into 5 and again multiply by 3. So what will be the answer? 
so this is going to be one plus one plus and this is all multiplication so this you have to write six five is a 30 and here 33 is a that is going to be 90 so one plus 90 because you have to find the value of so you need the final answer so one plus 91 that, um, one plus 90 that is going to be 91 now here 11 cube minus 10 cube so one plus this will be 11 into 10 into 3 so 1 plus this now you have to multiply this all together so 110 into 3 that is going to be 330 so 1 plus 330 that will be 331 now here again 1 plus 19 into 18 into 3 so this all together you have to multiply so that is 1 to 1026 so 1 plus 1026 that is 1027 so that by this one we have completed today's work to like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts thank you